Oh, I think it worked. Yay. Good morning. How is everyone? Hi, hi, hi. So actually, I've already tried going live twice this morning and it didn't work. So it works. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. How is everyone? Are we good? We're actually going to do two different places today. So we're going to do this guy here, this long one, this one here, and we're going to do all these little guys right here too. So it's not going to be any longer, um, but it's the same idea. Do you know what I mean? So we're going to do the same stitches for both places. Um, and then tomorrow we'll get, we'll get some flowers in there. It's going to be so fun. Okay. So first we're going to use this color. I just make sure it's the right one. I don't want to lead you astray. Yeah, this one. Okay, so it's eight. Ooh. Can we focus? Eight, seven, six. It's like a, you know, not so dark, but not so light either. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to use. I was thinking four strands, but they actually look quite big. So let's just try. Let's just try and see if it if four. I think six will probably be enough, but. We'll just use six for this and then we'll go uh, less for this one. So this stitch along is only two weeks. So it's Monday to Friday this week and next week. And then ne the next Friday so not this Friday, like two days from now, but the next Friday, um, we'll do a little bit of stitching to finish the plants and stuff. And then I'll show you how to close it and everything on the same day. So isn't that exciting? Short and sweet. And then hopefully we'll have a new stitch along to do. Um, it'll be a paid stitch along so you can decide if you want to do it or not. And I think it will be a little bit, it won't be for beginners. It'll be a little bit more advanced. So after you've learned these skills, you can move on to the next one. Do you know what I mean? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the back stitch. Just turn that down because I feel like I'm shouting. Ah. So the cover, color number is 876. And we're using all six strands. So we're going to do the back stitch all the way up. And then we're going to do the detached chain stitch for each of the little guys over here. And then over on this side, we'll do uh, less, less strands. So it's a little bit more like a wispy. Okay. So we haven't done the back stitch yet. So let's just quickly go over that. It's one of the very like first stitches that most people teach because <coughs> you can use it for like everything. It's so good. You can use it for lettering. You can do an outline with it. So you're just going to go up from the back like this. Let me just zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, and I like to go down where the leaves touch the actual stem, I guess, of the vine. So we'll have one stitch here and then one stitch to here, and then one stitch to here. You can make them smaller if you want, really, really tiny and have like a lot of texture, or you can make them a little bit longer. Um, if you make them longer, <clears throat> just be a little bit careful because these kind of bend a little bit. And sometimes if you have your stitches too long and you have a bend, they start to look like this instead of like this. So you want to have like a nice gradual bend and not like a a jerky kind of like boom, boom, boom type situation. So here we go. There's kind of two ways to do the back stitch as well. This is the regular way. Okay. Let's go up like this and then down. And then you're going to come up ahead like that. And then down through the same hole. So in this way of doing the back stitch, you're always going forward 
like this and then back down. Be a little bit careful with that black line there. Yeah, so up. Ahead of your stitches and then back down like that. Okay. Now, if you're running out of thread or if you think that's using a lot of thread because actually on the back, you really double up a lot. See how there's all that thread back there? Um, if you find that you're running out of thread, you can do the thread saver method of the back stitch. And that is where you do the regular back stitch and then you alternate with the thread saver method. So let me show you. We've just gone down here. So instead of coming up here, like we normally would, we're gonna come up here at this one. And it's almost like we're starting again, like when we started our very first stitch. And then back. So you kind of alternate a little bit. I'm gonna go straight through this flower because we're gonna cover it up, so it's okay. And then we'll get started with our detached chain stitches. The detached chain stitch is also called the Lazy Daisy, which I think is super cute because actually each one of them look like little flower petals. So they could be leaves, they could be flower petals, and if you arrange them in a circle, they look like little daisies. So. Here's how you do the detached chain stitch. You're gonna come up from the back. I feel, I sound really stuffy today, don't I? Goodness. Yeah, and you're gonna make a loop with your fabric, so, or with your thread on the top of your fabric. So leave it like that. And you can go down through the same hole or you can go down right next to it. Um, both are okay. I like to go down through the same hole so it has a really sharp point at the bottom, like that. If you go right next to it, sometimes it tends to look like that, like almost like an N instead of like a nice sharp V at the bottom, okay? But you need to leave that loop, all right? Now, when you go up again, where you come up next is gonna show you how big your loop is. So if you come up way up here, this is gonna be a really big loop. If you come up way down here, it's gonna be a very, very tiny loop. So we kind of wanna <coughs> fill in the shape, yeah? I like to put my first stitch kind of inside where I want it to go. Pull it through. And you don't wanna to pull too hard because you still want it to be bendy at the top there. And then you're gonna put your needle back down right on the other side of that thread. So just to make a very small tacking stitch just on the other side there. So we're just holding that loop in place really like that. Okay, so we made one. Let's go back and make another. So I like to do mine um, right where we did our back stitches in that little area there. I like to put mine there. Again, make your little loop. Now, if you pull these too hard, they end up going like boom up, boom down. So they almost look like this with a little tacking stitch at the top. So we just wanna pull a little bit, but not too hard. Cause if it's too hard, then they get really, really straight and they look like, almost like sticks. Are we following today? Very quiet. It's Wednesday today. I thought it was Thursday, but it's Wednesday. Just in case anyone else didn't know. We're here. Yay. <laughs> oh, sometimes I just talk so much. And I think, does are we getting this? <laughs> Girl, the struggle is real this morning. Still on a quest to fix my coffee maker. And actually we went to Little yesterday, 
because we needed tuna for dinner. And I didn't even get like instant coffee or like coffee sachets. I didn't even get anything. So this morning I was like, oh no, I still didn't fix the coffee machine. <sighs> so I've descaled it this morning. I'm on the second part of it, but <clears throat> it was too loud. So I had to turn it off. You guys would be able to hear it. And it's like, boom, 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 like that. And it's really quite annoying to have to listen to, you know, the whole way. Okay, let's see if we can just move it down here like that. And it'll all be on camera, so I was like, no thanks. We'll just turn it off for now. Okay, so we'll do this one here. And then we also have to do that that one there. Um, but I had planned today, because it's exactly the same, to do the greenery on the woven wheel roses, woven wagon wheel roses, slash, um, like, straight stitch flowers. So <clears throat> if you don't finish it all today, that's, that's totally fine. Don't push yourself. Um, but it seems a shame to do the same stitches on two different days, you know, when you're not really learning anything new, especially with only two weeks. So we're going to, we're going to do all of that. So after I finish this one, I'll probably start the darker green one that go with the flowers. And don't forget Saturday and Sundays are catch up days. So if you don't finish anything during the week, it's okay. Like, don't stress. Ooh, someone just said, I'm not sewing this time because I missed the beginning, but I want to check it out for next time. Hi. That's totally okay, actually. We haven't done that much. So you're only two days behind. Um, all the videos are saved. So you can go to IGTV or you can go to my YouTube and they're all up there. And you can watch, watch them back at your leisure. So join. Do it. I do have a funny story, though, if you guys want to hear it. It's quite, it's, it's, a, it's a weird one. Uh, this morning, I got a message, and it was from a lady, and it had a lady's name on it. I'm not going to say the names because, like, I don't know, maybe, like, that's weird, but... <clears throat> had a lady's name and they were like, wow, these stitch alongs are so beautiful. Wow. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. They did such a great job. And I was like, oh, they're so supportive. That's so nice. So when I woke up this morning, I had a bunch more messages from this woman. And the very last message said, why aren't you replying to me? Are you even real? <laughs> and I laughed so hard. I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? This is so weird. And then I put, yes, I'm real. I was just sleeping. <laughs> so I cannot reply to you when I'm sleeping. And then after that, they've changed their username and their actual name in their profile to a man's name. And they were like, oh, I just wanted to contact you because I think you're so beautiful and I think we could get together. And I was like, <laughs> that's a long con right there. <laughs> like changing your whole profile and username and everything to like try and talk to someone on the internet oh it just made me laugh I was like no hun <laughs> that's just not gonna happen yeah there is a sound so maybe check your volume and see if the volume's up all the way yeah isn't the internet so weird and, like, such a long con to, like, do you know what I mean? To, like, have a whole different username. Like, my username is The Barmy Fox. So, like, they've changed The Barmy Fox to, like, something else. Like, like to a different name. Like, a woman's name. And then, like, they've changed their actual username. Like, it's just so odd to me. Oh, my gosh. I was, I was laughing. Are you even real? 
Why aren't you, why aren't you responding to me? I was like, babe, I'm sleeping. <laughs> it's like, it's like 3 a.m. <laughs> okay. So we're using the exact same thing that we did over there. Yeah. So you have to do this one as well, but we're doing the exact same thing we did over there, over here. Literally exact. I'm going to use less strands though, because these look a little bit more delicate. So I'm going to go with, with four probably. Who has the energy to spend so much time skeeving online? I have no idea. And I think that's what I found so funny. Was that like, <laughs> like, like to, to be like, oh, I'm a woman. I'm just replying to the stitch along stuff. I genuinely thought it was like a person who was going to like, you know, do the stitch along and stuff. But no, that's not going to happen. So the last time, uh, the last little last little stitches we used was eight, seven, six, and we used six strands. And this time it's two, 10. It's more of a green, 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 not blue, green. And we're going to use four strands. So exact same stitches. Okay. Exactly the same. You could probably use three as well. If you feel like three is thin enough. I just wanted it to be a little bit thinner. Oops. Wrong one. Yeah. I'll, I'll use four. I just thought we could get together and chat. You're so beautiful. Sorry, babe. I don't think my husband would like that. <laughs> and I was talking with a friend and I was like, because of the stitch along, like I want to make sure I apply to every person, you know, and like make sure that I share them all and like make sure that like I'm interacting and like make sure that everyone knows that if they've got question, they can come and ask. So I was like, oh yeah, of course I'm going to reply. It's just because I'm sleeping, you know? Obviously I'm real and I need to sleep. In the nighttime, that's when I do that. <laughs> oh, it just really made me laugh. Hopefully it made you laugh too. Maybe he wanted some feedback on his sampler. <laughs> Perhaps. But like he was only replying to other people's stuff. Like, wow, they did a great job. Or like, oh, wow, this is so beautiful. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is definitely like a real person who's like, you know, wants to get into stitching or maybe is like interested or maybe is going to be like, oh, how can I, how can I join or something like that? Ugh. Beck says, you're so good about replying. I do try to reply to everybody. I really do. And I think people get a little bit annoyed that um, during the stitch alongs, all my stories are just like reposts of like people's stuff, but I don't care. I'm like, I want to do them all. I want to share all of them. I want to show everyone like, look how good they did. Look at it. Especially because a lot of people who join um, the stitch alongs are people who've never, who've never stitched before, you know? So like, I want to be... I want to be like your number one hype woman. I want to be like, look how great they did. Look at it. So what I'm doing here is exactly the same as what we did before. We're just doing a back stitch. And every time I see a leaf, that's where I end my stitch. And then this one here, I'm just going to go a little bit more into a thing like that. Okay. Okay. And then, oh, I've just gone down there. I shouldn't have gone down there. I'll go up here first. And then here we'll do the exact same with the lazy daisies here. Or detached chain stitch. Now, some people find that when they have less strands, it doesn't stay so nice and round and like, you know, like curvaceous at the top like that. Some people will find that if you get less strands, um, then it tends to go like boom, boom, you know, straight up and straight down. And that's okay. If you like that smaller, um, rounder look, then keep your leaves smaller um, and use more strands. So you could always do more strands for the leaves if you want to, or not make them as long if you don't want to have that that look or just don't pull them as tight. Then 
Now this one's hiding a little bit behind that one. So when we get to there, we can either stitch over it or we can um, like make this petal a little bit shorter, you know? Both are okay. But yeah, it does give a little bit of a more delicate look even with four strands. So I've only taken two strands away and they look so much different, don't they? But it's kind of a quick day because I feel like these go quick quickly, these little stitches. Um, and someone asked earlier, they said, when you do the detached chain stitch, do you put it in the same hole or right next to it? I've always done right next to it. And actually you can do either. If you like the look of that, then you can do it that way. That's okay. If you put the same hole, then that's okay too, you know? All right, let's see where this one goes because this one gets a little bit wobbly, it looks like. I might have to make up some lines here because I didn't do a very good job tracing. Let's just make sure you guys can see it. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I had a couple cocktails when I drew these lines. But hey, that's all right. I will ask, what's your favorite stitch so far? I know we've done technically five stitches. We've done the back stitch, detached chain stitch, straight stitch, fern stitch, and fly stitch. So what's your favorite one so far that we've learned? I always like the fly stitch. It's probably like one of my favorite ones. <clears throat> Is that a big jump? I feel bad for you about your coffee pot and chugged my coffee and my stomach is, oh, oh no, that's not good. Yeah, you can't be chugging coffee, hun. I always find when I do a lazy daisy, my thread splits. Why might this be? Um, try putting the, the, when you go back down and make your loop, try putting it like right next to it instead of the same one down the same hole. Sometimes what can happen is when you put it down through the same hole, your needle will actually snag some of the, the threads and kind of pull them down a little bit. I'm running out of thread. Okay, so lots of people are saying the fly or the, the birdie stitch or the fly stitch. Lots of people are saying fly, fern, fern, fly, fly, <laughs> fly. Oh, lots of people are saying fly stitch. I love the fly stitch. Like, hands down, it's probably one of my favorites. Um, it's so effective, and I feel like it's really easy to, like, lay on top of other things, too, so... If you're ever like, oh, I just feel like this needs a little something else, you can like lay it on top of it. Like if you've got a, say like a big filled in leaf and the leaf is all one color and you're like, oh, I just feel like this needs something else. You can lay a fly stitch right over the, right down the middle of it. And it makes it look so like. Let's take the other two strands that I've got and we can use that up. Because 
because remember we used four strands for this green the greener green and six strands for the bluer green that we used earlier stop being twisty so i'm doing the no knot method to is this the right color yeah okay oh my gosh i almost had a heart attack Oh, Tori. I didn't leave my loop, did I? This is harder to do the no knot method this way, though, I will say. What is happening here? I've got a problem. What? The threads are like caught around another thread. I'll just put a knot in the end then, if it's not gonna work. Take that. Do we use the other green for the leaves on the other side? Um, so the only things that we're stitching today are these, this frond, and this frond. That's all. So we're actually going to do something different with those other ones on a different day. Okay. So you're just doing three, three sections today or three pieces of I'm just gonna stitch right over this leaf. Cause this guy needs to have a stem too. And this is one of those things that like, 210. This is one of those things that like, if you don't like this many leaves then don't stitch this many leaves. You can, you can do all the stems and add just a couple little leaves here and there. If you are not a big fan of having so many overlapping greenery type things around, that's okay. I've just got these up here to do and then we're done. Well, I'm not done. I have to do the other one, but I'll do that later. All right. Just a little bit more. You're so quick. I've just finished my first plant. Oh, that's all right. It also helps when you actually make the pattern. <laughs> Cause like you know a little bit about where where each of the things should go if that makes any sense um but sometimes when you follow someone else's pattern you're a bit like where does where is this one going where how do i connect it and that's a big a big thing like with my pattern sometimes because i like to put a lot of details in so apologies apologies <laughs> Because I really do. I really like to put layers in and put plants on top of plants or in front or behind plants. 
So you really get that feeling that it's like in a greenhouse and like you're looking through and there's like a little plant back there that you're like, oh my gosh. You know, like, oh, I wonder what that one is. I've been watching too much Bob Ross, guys. I'm telling you, I need to stop. Okay, and we'll do just a little one here. I'm going to leave this one a little bit open so it looks like it's going down back behind. And I think I did it all. I think I did all of them. Except that. Can't ever watch too much, Bob. Thank you. Thank you for validating my love of Bob Ross. Yeah, that I was watching like the very first season ever. And he's so, um, he's such like a little therapy session. Like, you are good enough. You can do it. And I was like, I am. I, I am good enough, you know? I, I can do this. I can. Wasn't even painting with him. I was just like, I can. <laughs> Uh, Lord. All right. So this is what we've got so far. Obviously, we still need to do this guy here. <coughs> it's only been 30 minutes and I was a wee bit late, so I might as well just do it. Just do it now. So if you guys want to dip out the video and have a lovely th oh, uh, Wednesday, I almost said Thursday again have a lovely Wednesday, then you are welcome to do that. I'm just going to stitch this one up because we really, it's only been 30 minutes because I was a little bit late. So yeah, let's just, let's just continue. It's not going to take very long anyways. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. If you are going to leave the chat, I've been watching too much of The Circle. So just horrible reality TV, isn't it? So pretty. Thank you. I'm not going to lie though. I kind of miss like when everyone could choose their own colors because when I repost them, they all look the same because we've all used the same colors. So I, I really like it when people are like going a little bit off the beaten path, you know, and they're like picking their own colors because normally in the stitch alongs, especially in the last year, I haven't had any color numbers because of the pandemic. And it's a little bit, it seemed a little bit mean to be like, oh, here are the color numbers. Have good luck finding them. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Especially like last year. But now that things are easing up a bit and people can go into shops, I think it's so nice to be able to have like a set color palette. I'm going rogue with the colors. Ooh, I can't wait to see yours. I know a couple people are because they've done these dark colors um, as a light color. So, yeah, it's so fun to see, like, what, what you guys pick. And, like, honestly, <laughs> I'm here for it. I love it. I love seeing. And that's why I keep reposting them because I'm like, oh, my gosh, and they did this. And, oh, my gosh, and they did that. It's so fun. I just like embroidery too much. I just like stitching too much, you know? Like there's nothing I don't like about embroidery. Okay, I don't... Let's see here. I'm going rogue with some of the colors. Oh, two people are. Yes. 
good. Mel says I don't hardly have any ink art variegated colors. I think I used to have a couple, but I gave them to my mom when we went um, at not last year, but the year before for the summer. I'm addicted to the circle. Oh my gosh, me too. I don't even want to talk about it. I do want to talk about it, but oh my goodness. I'm going to be really mad if Manrico wins. Let's just see that. I'm going to be really mad if she wins. Okay. I chose a color on a day. So whatever I feel like I'm going to use on a day goes on a hoop. That is perfect. I love that. Some of us are going a bit rogue. Yes, I hear ya. First time I've gone with exact colors. I did it same t- I did it to save time, but I do like going rogue. I think it's so fun though when you can like pick what colors you want to use yourself. Um, but I do equally on the other on the other hand, because I always say it, but I think it's true. I'm a Libra and I'm very much like balance and very much like I can see both sides of the story so much. Like I understand your point of view, but I also understand your point of view. Um, So yeah, I also understand how sometimes it can be intimidating when you have 500 colors to choose from. Literally, there are 500 colors to choose from. Um, And you're like, I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. How am I supposed to pick like 15 that go together? You know, this is intimidating. So I do appreciate that some people like just want you to tell them what to do. Uh, Jamie T has never watched it. Um, So there's a current series on four, all four. C4, all four, something four. And it's on the TV now, but there's past, past series that you can watch. So on Netflix, they have the USA version of the circle, which is exactly the same, but just American accents. And then they've got celebrity circle. When there was one celebrity circle this time and then I think in one season they had celebrities go into the circle like into it channel four there you go I don't really watch tv that much except for like the actual television I normally watch like Netflix or um Amazon Prime or so sometimes I'm like oh it's on that channel (laughs) <laughs> don't know what it's called but it's on the one that's like this Ugh. yeah it's interesting it's an interesting um concept so it's all like you're all <clears throat> in an apartment building together but you can't see each other and you, the only thing you have is your online presence so you can say that you're like an 80 year old grandma or you can say that you're like a firefighter or whatever or you can just be yourself so it's kind of like the internet you know where you can be anything you want on the internet so obviously be yourself and be kind but some people are choosing to you know, be catfishes and do other things and it's interesting all right let's see here i'm trying to use up what i had already in my thread stash on a budget at the moment so we'll use what anchor i have and if needed i will go rogue hee <laughs> hee that is totally fine that's totally fine that's another good point though about about being able to use your own colors is that sometimes um if you are on a budget or if you find yourself needing to be on a budget like i am right now <laughs> doing the redoing the wallpaper and removing the wallpaper in the hallway and the stairs and our bedroom and stuff Like, it's nice to be able to use what you have and not feel the pressure of being like, everyone's got the same colors, but I have different ones. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm just going to add two little straight stitches, and then it'll look like there's a big one back there, but actually there isn't. See? Also, this hoop is not uh, very tight. But I'm almost done. 
Just six more to go. Ooh, they pitched it first to crafters. Not sure. Ooh, that's interesting. That would be fun. Did you see the craft one? There's a craft one in the States. Did you see that one? I do not remember what it's called. Um, but it had that guy from Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec that was really grumpy all the time. Ron Swanson. I don't know his real name. But it had him in it. And they did like a bunch of crafting stuff. I didn't watch it. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm going to run out, aren't I? <sighs> I missed one thread. Let's try and save it. today I'm off my game so I've gone through the loop yeah I've gone through the loop but I've gone through five of the strands of the loop and not six oh David's back sorry we went a little bit longer but you can come in So it's two different colors. We've got one different color for the uh, this side and a different color for this side. So I've got the color numbers. I'll put them in the description as well. Um, but it's, uh, hold on, 876 for the big long fronds. Ooh, people are saying hi. Hi. <laughs> he said hi. just ran upstairs now and then we've got 210 for the others for the other side so they are different so both fronds are the same color these two guys it is hard to see isn't it and then this one is just a bit more green so let me show you the two colors next to each other so this one is for the fronds 876 and 210 is for the Can you see better there a little bit? So actually it should be like this. So the green one is for these with the flowers. And then this one here is for no flowers, just the fronds. <laughs> this one and this one. So there we go. It was a little bit long today. I'm sorry about that, but I got it all done. Um, and yeah, I hope you have a lovely, lovely Wednesday. Make sure you're tagging me. Um, and I don't know if Anchor, I haven't seen Anchor repost any of your, of your uh, stories. So I'm not sure if they've got someone on that or not. I will send an email and just, just check because, you know, it'd be nice if they were to repost them. Just spread the love a little bit. Um, so I hope you guys have a good day. Make sure you use the hashtag Anchor Threads, Anchor Crafting, Anchor Crafts. Um, the Barmy Fox S-A-L is where all of my stuff is going to be. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait to see. And, yeah, enjoy your day. Bye.